Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Wednesday catch-up video. If you hear any explosions in the background, don't worry, it's not the beginning of the end of the world. It's just the locals setting off some fireworks. I've recently, in fact, I've just now uploaded a video on my YouTube channel of my wife Deborah assembling a turbojet uh, scale model engine. It has done extremely well. I'm really, really impressed with it. She, she worked in it, she plotted on with it. Um, and she wants to do some more. So, uh, happy wife, happy life. In tonight's video, or today's video, I do a machining job for a friend. Um, it's a bit big for me, really. I have to subcontract some of the job, but I do make two nice plastic bushes. I show machining some plastic. Don't forget, this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, both myself and Deborah will be at the NEC at the Classic Car Show. I'll be going between the Ortex stand and the Extreme Plasma stand. If you're down there, look us up, come and say hello. I really do and bite. This is part of a linkage of a forklift truck. Um, the, the holes were worn really badly oval. The pins aren't actually that bad. I took it down to my friend's place and he milled the holes out on his CNC milling machine and I'm going to make some butcher to go into them. I'm just going to use nylon bushes, that's what the lad wants us to use. He doesn't want to spend any money on it really. It's typical of the sort of job I'm doing when he's going to reuse the pins. So I've got some nylon to machine the bushes out of. I'll, uh, we'll get stuck in. I've actually got a bit of film of the lads milling this out, I'll show that. I do think I've got a shot of it being worn, but he had to take sort of 15 mil out, like 7 mil a side to take up all the way. Absolutely horrible stuff to machine this. Look at that stringy bastard coming off here. That's what I can get it to land in the bin. So that's point one five of a mill bigger. So it's going to be a nice hammer in fit, basically, with a little bit of Loctite on it, I would imagine. Now we need to board it out. Uh, the pins are two inch ish, so we'll get it. We'll get it bored out. I've set it up with that ruler just to give it a little bit of support, because I'm going to put a really big drill through here. Slow it down one gear. Like the proverbial knife throw butter. Bar next, I think. 
I'm obviously standing to one side of this, you do and stand in the lane of fire with something like that. Because if it comes out, it'll hurt you. It'll really be sort of half sensible. I don't think I've gone quite deep enough with the drill. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Right, we're back on track now. We'll do a little bit of measuring before we get to excited unfortunately the pins are worn and he doesn't want us to make new pins for it so it's basically going to have to be a compromise which is exactly what that is now, the compromise. Go into there. A little bit of Loctite won't do any harm. The job's already getting us once. That'll do. Yep, slightly too far. Good enough. Good enough. I take the grease nipples out, drill right through, and then cut those off flush, and that's it done. The other end I've already done, so this end has already been done. You can see it's, a, it's not a good job because it should have no pins, but if it was working the way it was, it's got to be 100% better. I don't think I'll ever seen a grease gun in its life, but never mind. I suppose a at least sure willing. Well, there's grease in there. How much the last thing I want on there? Once again, just tend to see you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. And there's always a, another reminder about this horrible thing, mental health, and the stigma that surrounds it, that stops blokes talking about it and getting help. How are lads and lasses? It's important you get help. The help's there. I needed help, I went and got help, and I'm not 100%, but I am 100% better than I was. Anyway, that's enough of me waffling. Thanks for watching.